guys, welcome back to VTubers. Today, I'm going to show you gaming system evolution! What do you mean? So, what's the game system you use right now? My iPad. Right, yeah. So, kids use iPad to play game or Nintendo Switch, right? This is my Nintendo Switch. I play Nintendo Switch all the time. But, here's the game system that I grew up with. What? It's called Game Boy Color. Have you guys seen this? It's no? so small and it has barely any buttons. That's right. And this is the game cassette. So there's a game data saved in here. So for example, this is Pokemon. Mm -hmm. This is very first generation Pokemon. So if you want to play Pokemon, you have to put this in, like here. And turn it on. Uh-oh. I have to take it out. What? That's what you have to do back then. Alright, here we go. Some dust was on it. Okay, here we go. Look, this is what the game looked like. Can you guys see? You know, the display doesn't have any backlit. So what it means is it doesn't light up. That's why it's so hard to see. It's so dark, right? Yeah. You know, this is normal back then. You know, like games like on the iPad. Look, it's so bright and it's easy to see. So you guys think this is normal? Back then it wasn't. And the display is so small too. But this is the game I grew up with, and today I'm gonna customize this Game Boy Color into a super cool gaming system. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna customize a heck out of this. Alright, bye! <laughs> okay! Alright, guys, here's my plan to customize my Game Boy Color. Alright, plan number one. You see the color of the uh, this uh, Game Boy Color? It's a see through, you can see it inside, right? And it was super popular style back then. I wanna change it because it's no longer a trendy anymore. And the buttons, it's so hard to press. It was working fine when I was little, but then over time, it stopped working well. It doesn't really respond well, so I'm gonna exchange the uh, buttons and also I'm going to exchange the uh, display. You see how when I turn it on, you probably can't even see it that it's on because it's so dark. It doesn't have a light in behind the display to light it up. Compare Nintendo Switch and this is Game Boy Color. See? So much darker. So I'm gonna exchange this display to the one with the backlit, okay? So it's gonna be nice and bright and colorful. Alright. Okay, let's start. Alright, so here's my Game Boy Color. Can you guys see? Nice and center. Right here. First, I'm gonna paint this exter exterior side, right? See how it's see-through? I'm gonna spray paint it, right, to the different colors. So I feel like I'm playing the real new Nintendo Game Boy Color. Right now, it kind of looks a little bit old. I see some scratches in the surface. So we're gonna spray paint it on top of that. And I'll take it apart and exchange the display to a brighter version, right? So I bought this from Amazon that replaced the existing display to a brighter version and color vibrant. And I'm gonna introduce these little small buttons, new buttons. These are the new buttons for going in here. I'm gonna exchange it with this white color buttons. Okay, let's start. First thing is to take apart Game Boy Color. All right, I don't know if you guys know, but all the Nintendo game systems, they have a very specialized screws. So I actually have to buy something that I, uh, the screwdriver that I didn't have before. It's like, it looks kind of like, it looks like a triangle. So with all these screws right here. This is not typical Phillips screw. So I bought this. Okay, so let's take it apart. Cause when you spray paint this, you don't want to spray paint any of these part, right? The display or buttons or anything. So once I take fully apart all the parts, and take out all the motherboards and everything, then I can spray paint it. So that's the first part is taking apart. Here it is. Oh, look, look how easy. Huh. So first thing first, when I paint, I cannot let the paint go to the motherboard. So I have to take this apart. All right, so let's do more unscrewing. Okay. And you see how this is connected to the display? 
This is the cable that's connecting the display to the motherboard. I have to take this apart. Alright, so the motherboard is out. Whoa, look at this. This is the speaker. It looks cool. Alright, so it looks. Can you guys notice the, the a lot of dust here and all the uh, nasty stuff on the motherboard? I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Let's take out the buttons. See, look at all the dust on the, uh, the buttons. Ooh, 20 years of playing. Messed it up. Okay. Good, it's getting a lot cleaner. And right now, I'm taking out the uh, screen. All right, I got it out. Oh, okay, so in the process of trying to take it out, I accidentally cracked the screen. So now, I have no option but really make it work with the, uh, the new display. All right, so this one, I really have to push myself to take it out because there's an adhesive. Look, uh, I think I did it. All right, look, perfect. Okay, so next step, I'm going to paint this guy. I want to have a two color variation. Just this corner area, I want to still have a see-through and the rest will be a purple. So if in order for you to do that, you have to cover the area that you don't want to paint. So I want to leave this as is, this area like this. The rest will be painted in near purple color. All right, now I finished masking the uh, Game Boy Color. It's ready to paint. All right, first I'm gonna paint it to white first. This is what this looks like now. I gotta let it dry and then put the coating again. Looking nice. All right guys, now I'm gonna put purple paint over the white paint. This is the final coloring. Guys, so I finished spray painting the Game Boy Color. You see this? Yeah. So yeah, so hey, everybody, kids here. So I spray painted this one, so that's why it's a different color. I'm gonna take out the masking tape and see what it looks like. Oh, I hope it looks great. Oh, this is what it looks like. Nice. So this part you can see inside, because it's see-through. Nice, what do you think? It's two different colors. Like it? Alright. Good. Spray painting done. Alright guys, now I finished painting. Next step is setting up the the new monitor. Alright, so the new display is very colorful and have a backlit. And I connected it to the existing motherboard. Look. Looks like this. Before I put together everything, I need to first test it out and make sure that display works, right? Okay, alright guys. This is a new display. All right, I'm gonna test it out, okay? Whoa, it does work. This is the color. There you go, I think this is the most basic one. There you go. And as far as the front shell goes, this is the new cover. All right, guys, so motherboard and the screen is attached. And the front cover, I'll put it together with the front cover, so look. <laughs> it looks like this right now. Now I'm gonna put everything back together. All right. Alright, you guys ready? Oh, it worked! It worked! Yeah, it's nice and bright. Compared to last time, so much brighter. Alright, now what I have to do is just put everything back together. Okay, I'm gonna screw everything in. Oh, and replace the buttons. Right now, look, there's no buttons right here, if you can tell. I'm gonna install the new buttons here, and we're ready to go. All right, guys, I put everything back together. See how the button colors are different now? All right, I'm gonna go and show it to Ryan right now. All right, see you guys soon. All right, Ryan, I finally finished customizing my Game Boy Color. 
Really? What do you think? So I painted. Look, do you see the little pu new purple color here? Yeah. Then I kind of divided it in half and half. So you see, yeah. still see the old see through. Yeah. And some new paint. Looks cool. And another thing is the buttons. I changed the buttons so it just have a better response. Because mm -hmm. before I had a black color, now it's white. Okay. Remember before it was so dark, right? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. This is the power of the future. This is future. Look at, oh my gosh, look at this full color Whoa. with this brightness. Alright, let's roll the clip of how it used to look like. You probably can't even see it that it's on because it's so dark. You know, the display doesn't have any backlit, so what it means is it doesn't light up. That's why it's so hard to see. It's so dark, right? Yeah. What do you think, Ryan? Can you play Roblox on it? No. Can you search the internet? Uh, no. Can you watch YouTube? No. Can you call your friends? No. Okay, I think I'll just stick to my iPad. You know what? I still think it's a great improvement. I'm gonna keep playing Pokemon now. <laughs> okay guys, thank you for watching. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye! And don't forget to give us a thumbs up!